learning new details tonight about a deadly crash that shut down parts of Capitol Boulevard in Wake Forest for several hours during the evening commute. It happened about 4.30 near the intersection of Burlington Mills Road. CBS North Carolina's Amy Cutler is at that scene tonight with what investigators say may have caused the crash. Amy? Maggie State Highway Patrol now calling this a four vehicle accident. They say it started when a dump truck rear ended the minivan in front of it. Between that dump truck and the truck in front of it, there was a Sienna minivan. State Highway Patrol telling us the woman behind the wheel of that minivan died. It happened on Capitol Boulevard in Wake Forest just before 4.30 this afternoon. All of a sudden we heard two explosions, sound like dynamite. But two seconds apart. Boom. Boom. State Highway Patrol saying the dump truck, which was towing a Bobcat bulldozer, rear-ended the minivan. That caused a chain reaction. The minivan then rear-ended the truck in front of it. That truck then struck a fourth vehicle, a car in front of it. The northbound lanes of Capitol Boulevard by Burlington Mill Road were closed for about four hours as authorities investigated. State Highway Patrol is not identifying the woman killed, telling us they're still in the process of notifying her family. It's a bad feeling to pity your stomach. I mean, you know somebody's lost their life. Authorities are saying the charges are likely, but they decline to say exactly what they are, reminding us that it is still very early on in their investigation. Live in Wake Forest tonight, I'm Amy Cutler, CBS North Carolina.